Let's dive into the B2B edition of BigCommerce. With the BigCommerce B2B edition, you gain access to a BigCommerce Enterprise license, the exclusive bundle B2B tool built for BigCommerce, along with six free themes pre-configured to work with the B2B edition. The B2B edition of BigCommerce relies on the core capabilities that the platform comes with, such as the price list functionality, which enables you to create different price points for different customers, different companies that purchase from you. You're able to create those different price points within BigCommerce or have them published from an outside ERP system. The B2B edition of BigCommerce enables account hierarchies. This means you could have companies or accounts with multiple different users underneath them. You're able to set up different configurations for each one of those accounts or companies that you work with. The first layer is the users or buyers from that company. Within here, you're able to set up as many users that are required and assign them different user roles, such as admin, senior buyer, and junior buyer. These can be managed through the dashboard within BigCommerce, or they can be published through an outside system, such as a CRM or an ERP. You can also assign sales reps or account managers to these accounts, so that those sales reps and account managers could manage the accounts from the front-end perspective. You also have the ability of assigning specific payment types, offline or online payments, that are available to these different accounts. The B2B edition of BigCommerce also enables you to unify the billing and the shipping addresses for all of the users within that company or an account. For a B2B buyer, one of the most important parts is the wholesale portal that they would have access to. This is the view that the B2B buyers will log in to manage their users, control the different shopping lists that they have, take a look at the orders that have been placed either by each individual buyer or for that entire company. For this example, I've logged in as an admin user within this company that I'm a part of. As this admin user, I'm able to see all of my orders. I'm also able to see any previous orders that have been placed by any of my other colleagues within this company. I'm able to manage any of my users within this company and should there be a new employee that I want to give access to to this portal, I'm able to add those users from this view really easily as well. One of the key use cases that the B2B edition introduces is the idea of shopping lists. This is an ability for different companies or accounts or the sales reps assigned to those companies to create lists and use them repeatedly. These shopping lists could be created by junior buyers and submitted for approval to a senior buyer. Once a junior buyer has prepared a list for a senior buyer or an admin of that company, this shopping list would go to that person for approval. This could either be approved or rejected according to what was in that specific shopping list. Once approved, this would be a shopping list that the rest of the team would be able to leverage to place orders with. If the items in that list are satisfactory, they're able to be added to the cart really easily. Or if there's additional items that the shopper would like to enter within that list, they're able to do that within the quick view on the left-hand side of the page. This can be done via searching the catalog for a SKU or a product specifically, or it could be added by manually uploading a CSV file that includes the SKUs and the quantities of those items that they would like to add to their shopping list. The B2B edition also introduces a way for B2B buyers to request quotes. This is done at the product by product basis. So as they navigate through the catalog, they're able to identify the items that they're looking for and add them to a quote list. Once the quote list has been prepared, they could submit that quote to the sales rep assigned to their account and receive an approval or an adjusted pricing for the list of items that they were requesting a quote for. 
Once the shopper has completed the request the quote form, they could submit that quote to the team. Within the backend of BigCommerce, these quotes would be available for the users to monitor and update as needed. I can click on the actions and edit that quote or view that quote if I wanted to. Once I've arrived to that quote view, I'm able to see the details of the quote that was submitted, include messages, print the quote, email the quote. I am also able to edit that quote for any reason. So if I am the sales rep of this specific company that I'm working with, the admins or the senior buyers, I'm able to adjust the quote based on additional items that they would like to add to the quote or any specifics that I know about their account that I would like to make modifications to the quote specifically around that. Once the customer has submitted the quote, the quotes appear within the backend of BigCommerce. The sales reps and the admins would be able to view and edit those quotes right within the dashboard of BigCommerce. The quote editing could be modifying the quote information or including additional items within that quote even adjusting the price of that quote to a completely different price point. Once the quote has been satisfied, it can be previewed and then updated for the customer to view. The quotes can also be sent out to the customers directly. Right from this view, you can email the quote to the customer or provide them with a link to that specific quote on the front end of the website. Once the shopper receives the quote, they will be able to open that quote right within their wholesale portal on your website with BigCommerce. They will be able to print into a PDF or into an actual file, and they will be able to also share that link to that quote to other users within their company. They will be able to see the original price of the item along with the adjusted price that the sales rep has presented to them. If they're happy with the price and the quantity that was adjusted on that quote, they're able to proceed to check out and pay for that item. The B2B edition of BigCommerce also comes with a quick order pad. This is an ability for the B2B buyers to upload a list of SKUs and quantities that they want right into the cart, either via a CSV file or by the way of entering those SKUs within the quick order SKU list and the quantities that they want and quickly adding them to the cart. So that if they have a predefined list of SKUs that they're looking to buy, they're able to do that quickly and not have to go through pages and pages of products. The sales reps would also have access to the front end capabilities of the B2B edition. Once a sales rep logs into the front end of the website, they will be able to see the accounts that have been assigned to them. They will be able to manage those accounts by the way of navigating to each individual account and begin masquerading. As a sales rep, once I've begun masquerading to one of the accounts assigned to me, I would have access to all the admin capabilities that the admin users have access within the wholesale portal. I'll be able to create and adjust any existing shopping lists, take a look at user management and control those specifics, create and adjust quotes, and I would also be able to take a look at the address book. In turn, I would also have the ability of placing orders on behalf of the specific company that I'm masquerading on behalf of. The B2B edition of BigCommerce also comes with an invoice portal. The invoice portal is able to connect to your ERP system, consume any open or existing invoices that are available for any specific account, and present the balance due for that entire company. This specific company that I'm working with has $4,000 in balance due. They will be able to take a look at the open and past due invoices that they have with me they will be able to take a look at each individual invoice should they wanted to, and they will be able to see the details of those. The invoice details are presented to the buyer with the accurate information directly from the ERP. That way, they can take a look at the line items on the invoice, any shipments that were associated with it, 
and any previous payments that have been made against this specific invoice and the balance that's left. The companies would also be able to pay their invoices directly on the website. By selecting the past due invoices, they will be able to identify the amount that they would like to pay and continue to check out. Once on the checkout page, they would have the total amount that they selected to pay as a line item with their billing address predefined and they will be able to choose the different payment options that will be available to them. BigCommerce enables you to offer ACH and credit card payments to your customers. You would also be able to set up a convenience fee for those folks that would like to pay with a credit card for these invoice payments. Once the customer has filled out their credit card information and placed the invoice payment, they will be presented with an invoice payment confirmation page. This will detail out what invoice numbers were paid at what amount, and it would also detail out the payment number that it was processed.